Hi everyone. So today's quick tip video is with regards to embroidery stabilizer. So do you have lots of scraps like this left over from your project? I know I do and I've actually thrown loads away. These are just from the projects that I've been making this week. So this was an idea that I came across on YouTube. It was one of them ones that, you know, when you can't sleep at like three o'clock in the morning and you decide to sit there on your iPad and you come across random videos. Well, this was one of them. But I just thought it was a really good idea. So basically what the lady was saying was, all right, this might only be pennies. A lot of pennies all mount up to pounds, don't they? And especially if you're running a business and you're throwing stuff like this away this is product that you've spent your hard-earned money on and you've cut it or tore it away from a project and you're then going to put it in the bin so what what she did was she sews them together in strips and then reuses them i just thought it was a good idea and a good tip and i just thought i'd pass it on so I'm just going to go into sewing. I'm just going to go to a basic straight stitch and I'm going to put two of these together. I'm going to overlap them and start sewing them together with a straight stitch. So this is my biggest hoop, which is eight by 12, and it's taken six strips. So you might be thinking, well, it's taking you time to sew them together. And yes, you're right. But if you've got all these strips, if you keep them just in a pile, and then the next time that you sat at your sewing machine, just sew a stack together. So for the sake of about five minutes, I've literally got four new pieces now of pre-cut stabilizer that I can use in my 8x12 hoop or you could chop them in half and put you know get twice the amount and use it for your 5x7 or your 4x4 so I just thought that was a good tip you don't need to bother doing any you know backwards and forwards at the start and the end because you'll probably be tearing this away anyway once you've made your project so literally just sew them together it doesn't have to be pretty just a simple straight line that's all there is to it really and um, let me know if you've used this tip yourself or if you'll try it please give the video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you